So my initial thought of this film once I completed it was that it was underwhelming. It wasn't scary when it wanted to be. And I actually think that it had a good foundation that really could have made this a lot better. Let's talk about it in the new film, Row 19. What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Row 19 coming on digital blu-ray and dvd may 31st yeah listen the, the, the film follows the same type of recipe the same type of structure of a haunted house film it's just on a plane which makes it unique because planes are already kind of scary for some folks Considering what our main character here in the PTSD that she deals with being back on a plane plus this other sort of horror attached to it, whether it's a demonic presence or if it's sort of a practical horror. There's a little bit of both. I think with the PTSD, that's more of the practical side, but there is sort of a supernatural demonic entity side of this as well, too. You know it has a good foundation to be scary. I also will go as far as saying that the practical effects of this was pretty solid. You know, the CGI that they used towards, especially towards the end, I could have did without, but it had a lot of makes to making this film pretty good. Um, it's a short film, so it's an easy watch. Um, they get right to it, you know, no fluff, um, but it just was lacking and I think it was lacking because there might have been a little bit of continuity issues with some of the stuff like for me the score the score felt very cinematic very uppity you know almost like an action film at times and I'm like this is a horror film you got to make it creepy you got to make it eerie you got to make those hairs kind of stand up on your arm a little bit you know what I mean. Um, and then when you look at our lead and Katharina uh, who we'll just call Kat. Um, you know, following her journey is a little bit of a head scratcher for me. Just a little bit, you know. I understand about fighting your trauma and whatnot, but there still was a little bit of... There was a little bit of the psychology that was lacking for me. Considering that we see her as a child on a plane that crashed, she tried to alert her mother what she was thinking, what she was feeling, you know in order to like sort of just be safe to save them and she was the sole survivor of this crash at seven years old now moving forward and first she's going to have her first interview in 10 years and it's been 20 years since the crash she talks about it and she has frequently traveled since with her daughter and she basically dedicates her life into you know fighting fear um, and, 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 you know, like her daughter mentioned in the film, you know, they're going to fly to see their grandpa again. And that's where things sort of gets, you know, back to what happened initially when she was a child. The thing about it is that <laughs> there's times in this film where her daughter was trying to tell her things that she wasn't listening. And I was just like, well, didn't you learn that when you was a child? But besides the PTSD aspect of what she dealt with for being on a plane that crashed and getting back on the plane. I mean, yeah, it's, at times you just have to fight through it. You know what I mean? But also the other part of saying like, well, you know, your mom probably could have survived if she would have listened to you. And I think now that you realize that there's definitely trouble on this plane, you probably want to listen to what your daughter is kind of feeling and saying and seeing. You know what I mean? But that's no here or there. I also will say with the different things that were kind of happening on the plane, it almost felt like Final Destination to an extent because you had these weird, super bizarre occurrences happening on the plane which for cat she clearly knows that something is happening it clearly now directs her mind back to when she was a child and the things she was seeing the things she was feeling and whatnot and a lot of these things are starting to reoccur so like you know i i i i, I like that bit of it that was a little bit creepy but again i didn't feel like the execution of it in its entirety was there um anyway i think the other thing is too i mean i the whole name row 19 was I, the whole time of this film, I'm looking like, okay, what's what's the whole symbolic nature of Row 19 besides that being in the road that they set in, in order to survive? I think the, the film probably could have had a better name, I honestly, because I think that 
with names, you sort of want to draw a bit of curiosity to folks in order to see how that implies into the film. So the whole time you're thinking like, row 19, row 19, row 19. And for her as a child to survive the row 19, you would think that, well, shoot, if I'm ever getting on the plane again, I'm only sitting in row 19, which she didn't. So, you know, it was things like that. They were on a plane that wasn't even full. So she clearly could have sat in this seat the entire time. And it was just kind of like, yeah, like make it more about the theme or the title of the film in order to try to make this all kind of come full circle. I don't know. Um, so the plane crash, again, of what she dealt with as a child and that PTSD, we, we, we see that like mildly touched upon her as now Kat as an adult. Um, but, you know, it, 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 it could have been a lot better. I will also say this was this felt like a pandemic movie because it was a limited cast. And I'm not mad at that. Um, and, and, and for that, you know, I think that's also very interesting and unique that they were able to tell a story with a limited cast and, and sort of make it work. So, you know, I, I, I think the execution of getting the film done definitely hats off to it, but really going like head full steam ahead on this theme, this plot, you know, the horror element to it. I think they could have definitely pushed on the gas a little bit more here. And like the score definitely wasn't there for me at, at, on that point. The continuity was just off. Um, and I don't know. I don't really feel like much of this film really scared me. I don't think I've ever felt any bit of, like, sort of compassion or any sort of, like, I, I never attached to Ali in order to fear for her safety. I felt for her daughter um, and Diana because it's just like, well, she's the one that's, like, screaming the loudest and no one's paying attention. Help her. Because, I mean, remember when you were a child. Like, remember that, you know? And it just wasn't there at all. They definitely tried to use some jump scares, but it really didn't do it for me. The film was creepy. Intense, maybe. <laughs> but I don't know. At times, it kind of felt like, you know, the, how the uh, the sort of anomalies in this supernatural things happening was sort of like Final Destination. Except Final Destination had builds to these things happening. Some of these things were kind of like, a, oh, that's very strange. Oh, look what's happening. And then bada boom. And like, like I said, the practical effects of some of these things thought it were pretty good, but the CGI probably could have did without it, so. But I don't know, man, a little mixed feelings about this film. You know, I didn't hate it, didn't love it. I definitely seen the potential, um, and, I, and I definitely think this probably could have been a, a better film with just mild uh, tweaks of things and whatnot. And also, explain the entity? Like, is this something that she's dealing with because of PTSD, or is the plane haunted, you know? I'm confused, because I have no clue, and is row 19 like the the, the the safety blanket for all of this? I don't know. So there's that. Anyway, check it out. It is row 19, also known by the original title of Rayad Rad, um, 19. Blu-ray, digital, DVD, May 31st. Jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about it when you do. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.